Hi everybody, Ed Diaz from Roland here. I'm here at Sam Ash and we're going to go through the Roland FA06, FA08 Music Workstation. Now let's take a look at some of the Supernatural Acoustic. Now what does Supernatural mean to us? Well, what it means is that now, depending on the type of acoustic instruments we select, we can get those subtleties of that instrument, the articulations that are brought out by that particular instance, uh, instrument. And in the old days of keyboards, which <laughs> not that long ago, uh, in order to do some, uh, recreate some of these instruments, we would have to figure out a way to use volume swells and pitch bend moves to kind of get these subtle articulations. Well, now with the FA and the Supernatural technology built inside, we just have to play and it brings out those articulations for us. So let's take a listen to the full, full grand piano. Now, when we look at a grand piano, everybody's very picky about their piano. We could have 10 high-end pianos of the same model in the room. Each one's going to sound a little bit different. So here's what I suggest. Find your piano section, and there's all these categories right here. And I'll go into the piano. I'm going to press enter, and it'll pop open all of my sounds for me. And I can use my dial wheel and see all the different pianos. What I suggest to do is go in there and find one that sounds similar to something you're looking for, and then we can edit. If you don't know what to play when you're auditioning pianos, you can press and hold the preview button, like this. So that'll give you a nice representation of that type of instrument. So I'm going to choose the first piano, Full Grand. And this is a very nice sounding piano. And let's give it a little try. So a very nice sound. One thing I want to bring out to you so you notice is that how when we play the sounds, they decay naturally. Normally with the PCM, sound, uh, PCM waveform, the sample is only a certain amount long, certain length long. And when we hold, down, hold out uh, chords or notes, it's going to run out. So you'll hold it out, that sample will play, and at some point we have to adjust for that sample's length by doing looping. So we'll have it loop, and sometimes when we hold out long, long passages, you can hear like a whoa, whoa, whoa little sound in there. But with the Supernatural, we took care of that. For example, check it out. I'll hold a low note so you can hear, and let's see if you can hear any looping. Very smooth decay, very smooth, nice decay. You're not going to hear any whoa, whoa. So let's check it out. I'll play a little passage like this. Very clean, very smooth. So if you're playing in church, it's going to be nice. If you're playing any ballads, it's going to be beautiful right in there. So let's edit this piano. So once again, shift is going to be our magic button on the FAs. Press and hold shift, hit the tone edit button. Very nice. Notice these screens right here. Nice parameters that are associated with piano. So let's say I'm playing a piano and I'm playing more solo, playing by myself. Uh, I want to have a huge stereo width. And that sounds great, like I played earlier. But if I'm playing in a band, there's all these frequencies from the bass and the guitars and the vocals. Everything's going, and that huge stereo width might actually get in the way of the band. Might sound muddy. So I can easily come in using my dial wheel and bring that stereo width down to whatever I need. So that way my sound will be less wide and it'll fit right in the nice frequencies it needs to fit so it doesn't get in the way of everybody else in the band. So I'll take this off all the way just so you can hear. And let's go ahead and play now. So very nice sound. We took it from the huge stereo width and brought it down to more of a narrow or mono kind of width in here. Also, we can adjust the hammer noise. This is something real nice too. Uh, very nice hammer noise. I'll bring the stereo width back up a little bit. Uh, let's say I'm playing something that's a little bit more percussive, percussive sounding, uh, like rhythmic uh, montunos for salsa music. So I would, want, I would want that hammer to cut a little bit more, a little bit more percussive. So if we're doing any of those kind of montunos, it's going to sound very nice and clean. So it cuts. But if I'm playing something a little bit more 
not as aggressive or a little softer ballad-esque, I might take those hammers and bring them down so they're a little bit softer when they hit. Uh, drop this down an octave and once again, another very nice sound. Same piano, we just adjusted the hammer note. So notice the hammers. Very nice sound. And there's other parameters in here too, like string resonance, key off, my nuances, and the tone characteristic of the actual piano. So very easy. And once again, if I wanted to save this, what do I do? Press the right button, save the tone, and I can rename it so I know that it's mine, and then just press OK, and you have it. Now let's check out the Supernatural synth section of the FA06, FA08 from Roland. So I'm going to go into my category search here hit synth pad and I'm going to use a JPH strings one sound. Uh, I have this one octave shifted down and you'll recognize this sound right away. You've seen it in a lot of different movies, it's a great sound. Very smooth, very silky synth, synth string. Now here's a great thing. When we go into edit this, remember shift, tone edit, notice the parameters. They've changed according to that type of instrument, which is a synthesizer. So the editing parameters are the fundamentals of synthesis. So fundamentals such as oscillator, filter, amp, LFO, and modulation LFO, just to name a few. So let's go into here and let's take a look at my oscillators. Inside my oscillators, and this is what generates the noise of a synth, I can press enter and I see all these different oscillators that I have, all the different ones, and then I also can go in and adjust which one and the detuning between them. Now one thing to mention when we're talking about supernatural synth, supernatural synth it's one tone, one of the tones, but in a supernatural synth within that one tone we have three partials which are oscillators. Okay, so we can have up to three oscillators going uh, per tone in the synth section. Now remember, the FA06, FA08, they're built off of studio sets which allow you to stack and layer up to 16 tones. So 16 times three oscillators per tone is 48. So let's take a listen to this one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust the filter. Uh, I've read different things on the internet that says, hey, you know, uh, a digital synth is not as smooth as analog synth filters. Okay, uh, at Roland we come from an analog background, uh, we make great digital products, we love analog products, uh, so I'm going to show you right now how smooth it is. I'm going to go into my partial select, and I'm going to select two of the three partials, and now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to adjust just the filter. Now to do that, I'm going to use the sound modifier knobs, and I have it on the cutoff and resonance. So let's take a listen to one of these now. So that's a pretty smooth filter. I don't hear any stepping, any kind of click, 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 click in the stepping. Let's go ahead and look a little bit deeper. I'm going to adjust the resonance, and then we're going to use the cutoff again and see if we can hear any stepping inside the FA. So as hopefully you can hear, put on your good headphones and your good speakers, uh, no stepping inside the FA. So all of my synth guys, you want to get in deep in there and adjust all the oscillators and the filters and the amp and LFOs and such, you can totally do it with confidence inside the FA-06. 